Uh, welcome back and thanks for staying with us on Standpoint. We're, we're on um, that particular issue in River State where the president has now um, intervened in the crisis there um, with an eight-point resolution. Now, some have said, look, that resolution is a welcome development. Any solution is a solution, whether it's a political solution. But some have called it a constitutional crisis. Let's bring in someone from River State. He's a member of the Ijo Youth Council. Uh, he is um, Bedford Berafat Benjamin. He joins me virtually. Good to have you join us. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad to, you know, to be on the show this afternoon. So I, I'm not sure if you followed my conversation with um, Reno Mokri. Um, if you did, I would have loved to ask you what you make of some of the things he said, because he said, look, this particular resolution and intervention by the president is a welcome development. Oh, all right. Uh, I, of course, everybody has their own opinion to um, the issues of Brown. He has uh, given his own um, angle uh, to the best of his knowledge. Uh, but for us, uh, as your people, you know, um, this is a test, a true test. And uh, the, the, the democracy that we... Uh, the Nigerian state fought for over the years is being threatened. Of course, the interference, you know, of uh, other interested party is is quite uh, alarming. And of course, everybody wants a um, solution. That's the reason why, uh, you know, uh, interferences are being made to ensure that the solution is better. But of course, for us as the job people, we are solidly behind our, our father, our leader, who has indeed doggedly stood for what is true and what is justice. Justice is very very critical for you know for us as a nation in this particularly very dicey moment in our democracy this is a true test of what uh, nigeria and the democracy that we believe in and of course if this issue in the state is not well managed it's not micromanaged to the best of my own knowledge it will lead to the break of law and order and that will not be very good for the economy because river state sits as a very sensitive uh, state in the nigerian uh, you know, economic uh, projection in the next couple of years. And you talked about justice. Um, what does justice mean for, mean in this particular situation? And would you take justice right. over, over peace? All right. Uh, what, 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 I, what I mean by justice, of course, peace is golden, like they said. But just, uh, peace must be justified. You know, the issues of uh, the issue of going to uh, uh, the uh, uh, to Abuja. You know, uh, the as as sort of uh, you know to bring out a um, resolution that does not reflect the position of the people, it's not justice for us. And that will just give temporary uh, peace. But of course, that is just like a, like a time bomb that is waiting to explode. The issues that is on ground must be dealt with constitutionally. It's a constitutional issue that is on ground. You know, 27 persons are between 5 persons. You know, I sat and said, no, they want to impeach a governor. And, uh, that, uh, uh, and, and the judiciary will play a very key role in the role, as a role of the three sons in the, in, in the federal system, and the judiciary, the executive, and the legislature. Of course, the judiciary is, is saddled with the responsibility of interpreting whatever uh, you know, the law says. And the law has said that you know, people, persons that have become from one political party to another political party, does not have the moral justification to remain in that city. There must be rerun that must be conducted, and that is the constitution. So anything that is done outside that constitution, gentleman agreement, does not fit in because in the constitution, the constitution of Nigeria, particular problem of Nigeria, is blind to gentleman agreement. It's blind to gentleman agreement. Of course, what the constitution has said must all sway, not a uh, personal opinion. Of course, this is politics, and uh, you know the federal government, for the best to the best of our knowledge, as a job people. As played politics, you know, trying to woo a governor, you know, an opposition opposition governor. So it's uh, that is what that is what is clearly playing out, and that is not justice for us. As much as we are fighting and clamoring for peace, like uh, uh, Fubara has rightly said, that's for the sake of peace, you will let certain things slide. Nevertheless, justice must be served. We believe in the constitution of this country. We believe in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So anything that must be that must bring peace must be constitutional. There is nothing anywhere in the world that is unconstitutional. It does not work that way. Peace, it must be constitutional, and that is what it is. And that is what we believe in. As Mr. Mr. Benjamin, as part, parties all over the world sign agreements just to end you know, lo long-term wars. And so some will say, look, whether it, it, it's whether there are cases in court or not, an agreement sometimes, you know, it is people who took those cases to court. And so those people can go back to court and drop those cases. But I also wanted to ask you, um, you, you have talked about 
I hope I don't lose my line of thought because we were talking about earlier how justice has not been done and how, um, because it, it, it will also almost seem as though this has an ethnic coloration. Is there an ethnic coloration to this particular issue on ground? No, of course, there's no ethnic coloration. If you, if, you, if you watch very carefully, you know, the query a community, the query local government area in, in river states also gave a position. You know, they clearly stated, stated that position very clearly. That indeed that, that they cannot, you know, they are not part of, they are not part of uh, uh, such uh, activities that uh, uh, go, former governor Wike is doing. Of course, it's not an ethnic uh, matter; it's a river state matter. The river state yesterday, river state uh, civil servants and other uh, well-meaning organization came in solidarity, came in mass in solidarity. It was a, it, it was. Was a river state oh, yesterday. Um, Benjamin Bedford, are you still there? Uh, Bedford, I want to be sure that you are there because it, it looks like I've lost connection with you. Because the federal government, the concern of the, of, the, of the Nigerian state supersedes any form of gentleman agreement. Of course, the other party, they ran very, very swiftly. And to say that we've drawn that uh, their, their petition against the uh, uh, governor seem. Of course, of course, they know that that uh, petition does not have any. any, but, but any is, it, is this not a win win situation, Mr. Bedford? Because when you look at the fact that, on one hand, that impeachment proceeding, this resolution says drop the impeachment proceedings. Uh, just hold on, Mr. Bedford. On, on one hand. Uh, on one hand, the resolution says drop all impeachment proceedings. And on the other hand, it says um, the 27 lawmakers will remain as lawmakers. So is, is that not a win-win for all parties? People that have resigned from a system should be reinstated in the system because we want peace. And it's not that it's not that it's not that it's not How do you say uh, the 27 members that have, that have defected to another political party should come back to that political party because uh, because we are looking for uh, because we want a peace to uh, get to agreement. Well, it does not it does not work that way. It does not work that way. So what uh, like the, like 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 uh, the governor like, sorry like the barrister from this other side of the end or this side of the coin as rightly said you have not received any uh, directive whatsoever to withdraw a matter because that matter is a constitutional matter and if this matter is not is carefully handled constitutionally it will it, it will lead this country to a position of anarchy, and that's not what uh, the, uh, the federal, uh, the uh, governor, uh, the president of the federation needs in this at this time, at this critical time in in, in, in in Nigeria politics. Of course, now that the refinery, the river state refinery is functional, we don't want anything that will put river state into a chaotic mood. Because of course, that agreement cannot stand. It's unconstitutional. The federal, the president of the federal Republic of Nigeria. In the of President Paul Ahmed, you know that he's not constitutional. When he was governor of, 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 uh, of, of Lagos State, some of these um, activities came to truncate his government. Of course, the people rose and said, no, this cannot happen. And he stood his ground. And justice was said. This is the same thing that is happening in this era. If it, is, uh, if it was former governor, we can, he cannot allow this. Uh, I can, you can imagine that a government, city government went to River State and you withdraw, mm. you withdraw a bet to say, no, it was not possible by, from River State. Uh, uh, and, and, and you, and and you said, uh, Benjamin, that you, you, you said that look, um, peace must be achieved constitutionally. Allow the constitution to have its just cause. And of course, the peace that is clamoring. Right, so, Benjamin, just give me a, a minute. I, I want to come in. Um, you talked about how uh, there, there is now the refinery in, in, in Portacot is now, that's the Portacot Refinery 1, um, it has been fixed. And so you can't allow any uh, sort of situation to jeopardize that in River State and bring crisis to River State. And the president is the national security, uh, um, uh, people that will say the, the, the governor is the chief security officer of, of the country, of the state rather. The president is also the chief security officer of the country. Of the country. Is it not within his duty to ensure that Look, um, the Niger Delta is a cash cow of the country at this moment. A river state is one of those states. To ensure that, look, everything goes well in that state and the country is not destabilized. Benjamin, did you get that question? All right, so we'll Hello. Um, I want to be sure that you can hear me. Can you hear me? 
All right, it looks like there's a disconnection somewhere. We'll just take a break now. When we return, we'll try and reconnect with Benjamin, and then we'll return, we'll continue the conversation. Um, with the, we have very few minutes left, so we'll get his final thoughts on the issue. Every major news story is with many perspectives and layered with different levels of impact. Hello. What time did this happen? We will be right there. At TVC News, we follow the big and major news, gathering the facts, witnessing the outcome. I am here live for the aftermath of the approval of a new national minimum wage. We are TV station of the year, not just for breaking news, but for being first, fair and accurate. TVC News, first with breaking news. Lagos is the most visited state in Africa as the fifth largest economy on the continent. Covering the state and its government, it's no me feet, it's a busy beat. We go beyond the cutting of tapes to travel in far into the deep. I want to thank the Lagos State Government for the healthcare facility. To bring stories that cut across all spectrums. A greater Lagos shall be ours. We tell you stories that define our collective well-being as Lagosians. Amadido Jasalamadini, I live in Lagos, inside Lagos. Every weekday on Business Nigeria, we uncover the secrets of the financial world. Breaking down intricate economic and financial matters. We analyze the stock market, shares, bonds, and the thrilling world of cryptocurrencies. We unveil and analyze complex policies of the CBN and other government parasitals as they affect your everyday life, keeping you a step ahead every time. Okay, okay. This is the end of it. Facts matter. Our team dives deep to separate facts from popular opinion. We simplify complex government policies as it impacts your everyday life, helping you navigate the ever-changing financial landscape. Watch Business Nigeria every weekday at 2 p.m. only on TVC News. First, with breaking news. In the month of December, the first is World AIDS Day while the 2nd of December is International Day for the Abolition of Slavery. On the 3rd is International Day of Persons with Disabilities. On the 4th of December, attention shifts as the day is dedicated to world wildlife conservation. The 7th is International Civil Aviation Day. And on the 9th is International Anti-Corruption Day. On the 10th is Human Rights Day. And on the 21st is World Basketball Day. 25th is Christmas Day when Christians celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. The day after. Right, you're watching um, Standpoint. We've been trying to reconnect with Benjamin Bedford. There seems to be um, an audio challenge from his end. They can't seem to hear me. Uh, but we'll have to 